This is close. Oh my gosh. I hope this elevator is okay. I spoke too soon. Yes, today we are back with the next part of Stay the Night on the Episode app. Um, if I sound a little shook, it's because I am. Because in the last chapter, we had a five-year time skip. And not only that, our character Luna fled from her fleeing boyfriend. They weren't really officially together, but they were kind of together. And she fled on him. She vanished. And now... Five years later, he who was like waiting for her and all this stuff, like finally does not care anymore. He does not care. Camden is over it. And frankly, I don't blame him, except the real shocker is, so now Luna, well, she's actually employed under his family employer. He doesn't know that. See, she had a deal. She was to help him get him into college and do better and stop all his stuff, and she get a million dollars. Of course, they fell for each other. The mom wasn't happy. She was like, my son or the money. Luna chose the money to help her family. Her family needed help, so that's why she did it. But now, years later, after living out of country, she has to go back. Are they going to meet? And what is the meeting going to be like? That's the real tea. But I hope you guys enjoy. Please go follow the amazing author Earl Grey Tea. Her Instagram is in my description box down below. And without further ado, let's start the drama. I can't believe you're heading back to the US right when Han just left. Sorry, moms. It's just for the really short business trip. I'll be back before you two know it. In the meantime, you can always stare at Donna, pretend she's me. We're gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you too, mums. Mummy lost her ability to walk after she sustained a spinal cord injury from the fall she had. It's heartbreaking because when it happened, they didn't think it was that serious. Well, I mean, people were freaking out, but it wasn't supposed to be. But that's so sad. The doctors didn't discover it at first, but she gradually noticed that something was amiss. This is also partially why. Actually, this is the whole reason why Luna decided to dip on Camden and take the money. It's because she wanted to help her family. The medical treatments were very costly and they were barely able to afford it, but they insisted on keeping it from me. Mom actually considered giving up on her treatment altogether and that was when Han decided to tell me about it. It was the push I needed to take up Mrs. Aldridge's offer and we decided to move to Singapore for her treatment. She's much better now. Okay, well, I'm so happy she's better and that they're all together and everything's okay. Well, I mean, it's not okay, but you know what I mean. I'm definitely gonna miss lunch at Ronald's on Sundays. Um... I'm not going to embarrass myself because I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry. We'll make sure he cooks it for you when he returns. Stay safe. Say hi to Han for us. We're going to be saying hi to Han <laughs> and to Camden because Han's going to be, his little band is playing for Camden. That's going to be a meeting. What is this jittery feeling? It's just a business trip. I've been on plenty of them before, except I've always avoided the ones to the US. It's easier to put everything behind when you have a fresh start, but now I'm forced to face my past again. I'm overthinking. New York is a really big city. It's not like I'm going to bump into him. Oh, you are. <laughs> you are. Our paths may never cross again. When you say Camden Aldridge, you mean the Camden Aldridge, the one whose family gives out scholarships. Duh, he's the only Camden Aldridge around. He's the one who holds the Night Society every night. You know that highly secretive and exclusive social club that only invites celebrities, millionaires, and crazy influential people. Oh, we know. <laughs> we know. But you're neither a celebrity nor a millionaire, and the last I checked, I'm pretty sure you have more followers than you. Oh, dear. I know the right people. Now, as I was saying, Camden's birthday is coming up, and he's going to have a huge party. I talked him into hiring you guys for entertainment. Okay, so the band is happy. Turn him down. Are you nuts? Do you know how much he'd pay? No, scratch that. That man would probably hand you a blank check by the end of the night. He drinks himself delirious. Nope, can't do it. You're not the only one in this band, bro. All in favor of playing for Camden Aldridge, raise your hand. Uh, what do you have against him? Why don't you want to play at his party? It's complicated. Come on, we need this gig. Oh, like, okay, the band needs the gig. Fine. It's been five years. I doubt he even recognized me, right? Besides, it's not like my sister is going to find out. 18 hours later. Surprise! <laughs> and here's Luna. I thought everything is coming together. The meeting is going to happen. Little did you know, I'm so messed. Oh, no, 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 no. This is perfect. This is exactly what we need to see here. 
I want the reunion. I want the feelings to reignite. I had thought you always avoided business trips back here. Why the sudden change? My bond with the Aldridge Foundation is ending soon, so I thought this trip could be my swan song. Plus, Muna always has covered me at work, so I really wanted to help her out at this time. And Mrs. Aldridge is finally retired. I just have to cover for Muna until she gets here. But you were safe in Singapore office because he's working here. Now that you're here too. What do you mean safe? It's not like I'm avoiding him on purpose. Right, the ridiculous restraining order was lifted. When I accepted Mrs. Aldridge's offer, she added a new condition to our deal. A she had a restraining order? It's unfortunate what happens to your mother. The foundation is more than happy to help you. Don't even act nice, Genesis. Genesis is not nice at all. But, see, in light of what happened to original deal, I've added a new clause to the new contract. You will not be allowed to make any forms of contact with my son until he takes over my position. If you do violate this clause, you will have to return all the money to me. He's finally on the right track, and I do not wish for him to be distracted or have his reputation tarnished. She is such a snake. She is such a snake. Let me not rant about Genesis for hours, so I can talk to him after. If he still wants to talk to you, do you think he'd even remember you? Are you even a mom? Or, like, did you want kids? Because you clearly don't. It was technically lifted last year, but what am I going to say to him? Your mother was a manipulative tyrant who actually convinced young gullible me into thinking what I did was best for us, that I thought I was protecting you by leaving, and I'm sorry I ultimately gave up what we had because I needed the money, that I wasn't just choosing between him and my scholarship, but him and my family. My family who gave me a second shot at life, the very ones. So you need to be telling us to him. I dedicated to dedicate the rest of mine to right from the beginning, without whom I wouldn't even had a shot at the scholarship, nor would I have met him. Yeah, sounds about right to me. T -t write it down. Write it down and give the speech. It's not that easy. You were literally working in a company phase. Do you really think you can avoid him forever? I did a little digging. Although he took over the Aldridge Foundation from Mrs. Aldridge, he put someone else in charge of it. Plus, I'm just a lowly assistant. The chances of us meeting is literally zero. I'm not avoiding him on purpose. <laughs> Let me rephrase that question. Do you want to meet him? Do you, Luna? You do. We know you do. Okay, what should I wear on my first day of work? Let's, let's see what they look like. Okay, elegance. Okay, that looks nice. Let's look at the other ones. Uh, party after work. Okay, that one's nice too. And then I kind of like the other, the first one we looked at, little black dress. Mm. The coat's throwing me off. It's the coat. I want to do the elegance. We're gonna go with this one. It looks nice on her. Okay, it's perfect. I look amazing. We're perfect. We're going in. We gotta rip the bandaid off. Hello, Luna. Hi. It feels surreal to be back in this room again. Thankfully, I'm no longer facing Mrs. Aldridge. An Aldridge scholar, it's rare for a scholar to choose to work with the foundation. I hear that you're from around here and that you went to Yale for a bit, but you migrated to Singapore. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Truth be told, there are very little details about you in the database. Mrs. Aldridge made sure of that. Mr. Aldridge. What did you say? I said Mr. Aldridge is an alumnus of Yale Till. Do you know, happy to know him? She wants to know if I know Camden. We, we've, we, we, we met once or twice. You know. Oh, do you know each other? Not exactly. But we can always arrange for you to meet him. That won't be necessary. It so happens that you've been assigned to the team that's planning for the opening of the downtown Aldridge Library. Mr. Aldridge will be making an appearance on that day. Say what now? Do you have any problems with that? Yes. I'm only standing in for Mina. I can't bodge this for her. No. Great, I'll have someone show you around the office. Oh no. This is, I feel like I've seen her somewhere, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Yes. Mr. Aldridge is here. <gasps> I'm getting hype. You're gonna love it here. We actually have a rooftop terrace so we go to hang out during our break. Oh no. Oh no. They're in the same Mr. Aldridge. Why the sudden visits? A big client of ours is interested to work with the foundation to brag about his charitable side. Okay, we, I'm ready for this. He insists on meeting me here. Pretty sure he's bringing a reporter along. I'll have the meeting room arranged for you immediately. Oh no, she's trying to lift this here. 
Do we know? Does Luna know that we're literally in the same elevator? This is close. Oh my gosh. I hope this elevator is okay. I spoke too soon. Not again. This is the third time this week. It's slightly easier to keep my fear under wraps now, but it's certainly no less daunting. I hear that comforting voice in my head now, and I simply close my eyes and drown everything, especially the darkness, out. That voice told me to imagine myself somewhere that brought me peace. Five years later, and it's still in his arms, while well, your safe place is right there in the front. Oh no. I'm so sorry, Mr. Alt, that you've already contacted a technician about this. Ensure it gets fixed immediately. Safety issues aside, the dark can be daunting for some. <sighs> okay, this way please. We avoided him. We literally avoided him. Luna, are you okay? You're looking a little pale. Yeah, I'm fine. I handled that better than I expected. I really thought she was going to freak out, but now we were okay. What do you think? Masks are just not our band, but it makes us look mysterious. We're going to be playing at a place called The Night Society. Masks would totally fit the theme. Huh, I wasn't expecting anyone. Okay, so he's trying to get the masks and everything. Okay, guess who and I brought beer to celebrate me officially moving here. Well, technically I'm only staying here for a couple of weeks, but have a drink with your old sis. Seriously, you turning up in my apartment with a six pack is not the reason to give you my address. But it's my first night back here and I haven't made any friends. Besides, I miss my little brat. Hello. Hey, hey, I know that look, she's off limits. That's my sister. What if I told you that in, in exchange for her number, I'm in with the masks thing? She's only going to be here for a while anyway. <laughs> you got yourself a deal. Masks. Your band wears masks. Come to think of it, I barely know anything about your band. I've never even heard you play. Where do you guys play? Can I come to the next gig? I want to support my little brother. It's for a private party, but I'm sure I can get you an invite. No, you can't come. You should leave now. We're very busy. Also, stop deflecting whatever you're feeling right now. You're obviously going through some stuff and drinking with me isn't gonna solve it. Oh my gosh. So what now? This is why I avoided coming back. I hate it when Hannah's right. Oh no. Do you want to see him? She's gonna run into him eventually. It's just, it's gonna happen. There is literally no avoiding it. Yes. It's been five years, but yes, I do. Okay. Okay, so here we are at the party. We're gonna meet. Can't, I hope he doesn't recognize Han's voice. Well, this is the night society. I never imagined I'd be able to step into a place like this. Can we talk about the upgrade I got? It got a nice big upgrade. That's him. I can't believe the last time I met him, I caught him. <laughs> With his sister. Come on, we should really get to setting up the instruments before the party starts. Don't invite Luna. Are you seriously on the phone right now? Who are you texting this time? My date for tonight. You've actually invited someone here? Who's the gullible chick this time? I don't know if you should be calling her a chick or gullible. According to the address Abe sent, it's just a hit. I can't wait to see them play. The meeting? Oh 